Hello, Envianders. This morning, I'm thinking a lot about relationships. I've been receiving so many beautiful emails and text messages about people who are reading Heaven at 11 and Little Book of Love and learning about the rituals and the practices and the beauty and the importance of time and belief and the magic triangle, which talks about building a strong foundation in your relationship. And without that strong foundation in your relationship, Humpty Dumpty will fall off the wall again and again and again. And I'm sure that many of you may be facing this obstacle, whether you've been together for a long time or a very short time. If there is not a foundation, if there's jealousy, if there is consistent judgment or arguing or fighting or pointing or blaming, there's always going to be a shaky ground to walk on and, and that cannot be fun. That's like walking on eggshells. And a lot of it comes from looking at our partners and saying, you did this wrong and we, we just have this lens that's kind of like dirty, right? Like I could put my thing over my lens and make it a little bit clearer. Some of us have this lens that is based on our past. Some of us have a lens that is based on our conditions. Some of us have a lens based on societal beliefs. <laughs> and that lens, ontologically, physiologically, unites with the body, mind, <laughs> and the heart, and your actions and your words, and doesn't quite feel well to other people, and vice versa. Communication is not just a one way experience. It's a two-way experience. So for those of you in relationships, whether it's love or even in business with your boss or with some of your customers, if you're feeling like there's a shaky ground, take a few steps back and think about your judgments. Think about your need to be right. You know, one of the things that I always found in relationships is that we always need to justify our point. We need to make it right. We need to say and explain our point so vividly. Well, that just creates meaning onto words, meaning onto things that just puts a lot of pressure and heaviness, like Atlas holding the world, needing to be right, needing to create meaning, needing to justify for what? At the end of the day, it's not about being right or wrong. It's about coming together and having that connection, that love, that empathy, that compassion. And the more that you need to judge, the more that you place meaning onto things. It's kind of like me saying to you, <clears throat> an orange is an orange. And you saying to me, no, Elizabeth, the orange is green. And I'm saying, hmm. no, the orange is orange. You can say, no, Elizabeth, the orange is green. You said the orange was green when you did this and said this. And I said, no, I, the orange is orange. So it's, you see how we can get mixed up that middle part between the sender and the receiver. If the receiver is creating meaning onto the message, the, the orange will be green and not orange. But if the sender meant to say, hey, listen, this is an orange but the receiver decoded it in a different way. The message sent is always not the message received. And if the, the receiver is placing meaning onto the words, everything can just become a little bit of a mess. So my hope for you is that if you're having trouble communicating, if you're harsh, if you're abrasive, if you're an allower, and you're not living out your dreams and goals inside of your heart, inside of your, your soul and your passion, <clears throat> talk to me, reach out to me, message me, use the tools in the books, or maybe take my self-love course on February 24th. Bring back that passion that you know that lives within you beyond the ego. And if anything, know that it's not about being right or being wrong or justifying or putting someone in their place or creating meaning. It's, it's really about the beautiful meaning of coming together and creating that strong foundation because what's at the top is magic. I'm Elizabeth Ferry, The Kind Communicator, and you can learn more at thekindcommunicator.com. Message me if you need anything, and I hope that your relationships are strong, beautiful, and connected.